Orientation week is finally over. Oh my god, that was exhausting. Orientation week for med school is basically a week to transition into the lifestyle of med school, meet all your future classmates, and just get ready for all the classes that will be upcoming. But I gotta tell you, it was exhausting. There was a lot of social interaction, and after COVID for a year and a half, uh, I just felt very burnt out at the end, and it was hard for me to constantly talk to people. But I think it was still worth it, because at the end of the day, I got to meet a lot of new people that would be my classmates and explore the med school as I've actually never been there before because my interview was all held over Zoom last year. Uh, but with that being said, I wanted to focus a little bit more on what happened on Friday because Friday was the white coat ceremony. Um, and I'll have some videos popping up right about now. And some pictures as well, like this one. And it was just a really fun time because it all came up to that moment. And uh, there's some surprises that happened on White Coat Ceremony as well. Um, and one of them is... Notice anything different? Yeah, that's my stethoscope. They gave a free stethoscope for all of the new incoming med students. And uh, apparently this is the worst kept secret ever because they give stethoscopes every year, but they make it sound like a surprise. Um, but even the uh, upperclassmen didn't mention that we're getting stethoscopes. Uh, but I did test it out on, uh, on my parents and my brother and obviously myself. I think I could say that I'm alive, I have a heartbeat. <laughs> Uh, but there was one other thing that was really special that they gave us and it was really unexpected and let me show you what it is Oh my gosh If any of you know what this is Congrats to you because I didn't know what I was looking at the first time I saw it So what is it? Well, it's actually an ultrasonic device it's uh, for a portable ultrasound machine, basically. And they gave one to every single med student. And apparently these things are really expensive, but really useful. Um, the dean of our school actually said that she uses it every day in her practice as a trauma surgeon. Um, and she basically uses it at the bedside when patients are incoming to see if they need to go to surgery, right? Or wait or not. Um, and let me show you the actual device now. Here's the actual device. It's a, it's a heavy one. <laughs> it's a heavy boy, all right. Uh, took forever to charge to get those four bars. It took like three hours or something. But um, uh, here it is in all of its glory. And guess what? It ends in a USB type C cable. So what happens is that you actually plug it into your phone and you can get a reading of the ultrasound image um, like that. I'll try to post an image right now about how it would look, uh, work like from the website. This is a Butterfly IQ Plus ultrasound machine um, and they actually already sent us uh, videos and training on how to use the Butterfly machine um, in actual bedside practice and I would imagine that they're going to try to implement this in our doctoring sessions where we actually have to go see patients uh, for more diagnostic uh, information available so that we know what to go forward in our treatment plans with these patients. But these two things, the uh, stethoscope and the ultrasonic machine, are amazing devices. Um, they are, the, I think, going to be the staple of um, medical training and um, medical practice. And I'm really glad that my med school decided to give these tools for us in order to help be a better physician and get the best information that we can. Um, with that being said, that was 
the culmination of everything uh, that ended up being uh, yesterday after the white coat ceremony. Me and my parents went out to eat, um, as well as my brother. Uh, his birthday is actually today, so it was kind of like a dual celebration with him uh, becoming an adult and me uh, getting my white coat ceremony. Uh, it was really good. Um, and with that being said, uh, Monday is the beginning of classes. So I will be trying to take you guys through what happens on Monday and uh, basically get into the medical school career. And I do want to break down what will happen next week because next week's a bit special with it being the first week of classes and everything. So if you're excited, please stay tuned and uh, like and subscribe uh, and it helps me out a lot. And I'll continue to make these cool videos. With that being said, that's about it and I'll see you next time.